Well, I thought I'd show you a little peek at my exciting life. <laughs> this is the life of a, of a single 74-year-old artist, a sculptor in this case, who uh, gets up at 11 o'clock in the morning because uh, he didn't get to bed until about 3.30 last night. <laughs> anyway, uh, Now I'm going to go out downstairs to uh, take a shower and uh, do a few other things. But first, I'm going to go turn the heat on in, the, in my studio because if I don't, I'll be freezing my little patsuki off. Um, so I make my way down the stairs and it's hard for an old person to negotiate stairs and uh, you learn to do it actually I love it because it gives me the exercise I need in the morning <laughs> anyway Now I go into my studio. It's, it's probably about 40, 30, 40 degrees in here. Right now, this is my studio. And uh, my van is parked in here. This is a uh, banner that uh, I had up at the uh, one-man show I had in Jakarta, Indonesia in 1991, in February of 91. <sighs> Turn the heat on. That's the heater up there. Anyway, that's my only thing I got left from that trip. So, got the heat on. Now, I'm going to go take a look outside and see what the weather's doing. That's partly cloudy. A little windy, it's a north wind, which means it's going to be a cold day today. That's my bird feeder right there, or bird whatever. And uh, uh, it's a beautiful day. Clouds are up in the sky. I don't see any deer. You, oh, there's a deer right there. He's looking at me. <laughs> oh gosh so anyway I'm going to go take a shower and uh, I'll come back start working on my clay well I got a few things I got to do first before I do that but anyway I'm going to go take the shower brush my teeth comb my hair my beard Wash out my eyes, and uh, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Bye. All right. As I comb the three hairs I got on my head, and my little goatee here, I'm going to head upstairs again. And now that I'm feeling a little more human, human, I'm. Uh, you do a few things on my computer. My pooter. And, uh, let's see what the news is. In fact, about a year ago, when I first moved here, coming up these stairs, 
was not an easy thing to do. It's getting better. So now, I get my windows open. Yeah. With my makeshift curtains. And I open up the windows to the morning light. Well, that's uh, my morning routine. I thought I'd share that with you all, and uh, I'll be getting down to uh, my studio when the sun isn't quite so bright coming into the side window, and uh, getting to work on my clay. It's usually about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 12.30 now, or almost 12.30. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just right on the Madison River. The Madison River is just to the east a little ways. And uh, to the west is the Gravelies. And over the Gravelies is uh, Virginia City, which was the first, uh, well, it, it was supposed to be the, the uh, capital of Montana, but it turned out it wasn't. They, they made the capital Helena, Montana, which is about a hundred miles north. Anyway, uh, the way Annis got started, this, this little area here in the southwest part of Montana, an enterprising gentleman from back east brought uh, a wagon train of supplies out here to uh, the miners who had discovered gold on Alder Creek uh, up where Virginia City is now. And uh, along the Ruby River, uh, they had probably, I don't know how many thousands, of, uh, how, how many hundreds of people, or I, I think it was in the thousands, uh, were up there on the creek, or on the river, uh, panning for gold. Now, what, the reason why it, call, it was called the Ruby, the reason it was called the Ruby River was because... Uh, they found garnets uh, in the river, and those look like uh, rubies, and that's why they called it the Ruby River. But anyway, the uh, gentleman that brought the supplies out from back east in that wagon train asked the miners where the best speed for his cattle were that pulled the wagons out here, and they told him it was down here in this valley along the Madison River. Uh, there was tall, uh, river grass down there and uh, so he built a cabin down here and and uh, harvested a lot of that uh, river grass and bailed it up and took it up to uh, Virginia City and along the Ruby River where the uh, miners were all camped and uh, gave them uh, or sold them the uh, feed or their 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 uh, animals, their mules, or their horses, because <laughs> feed up there was pretty well depleted. There, if you've ever been up there, you'll see that uh, that area was pretty well camped and pretty well depleted of any vegetation. All right, I'm going to get dressed, um, do a few things around town. Um, and uh, then I'll come back uh, this afternoon and start working on my clay. And I'll make a separate vi video of that. I just uh, thought you'd like to see how I start my day. And it's not always this way, but, you know, sometimes I get up early in the morning. Sometimes I don't. All right. See you guys back in my studio. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.